Hello and welcome to Darren. Take a look at Cattails. This is a two-person developed team calling themselves Falcon Development. It's an RPG style, a very casual RPG exploration kind of thing. I would say it's uh, very similar to something like maybe uh, maybe a Stardew Valley kind of feel. Only difference is we are a cat. We're going to go around. We're doing cat things. We're going to select a cat tribe to join. Maybe we'll go explore some caves. Maybe we will uh, marry another cat in town. We will have baby cats. We will go and fight in battles and claim lands for our tribe of cats. And uh, there's also summer festivals, of course, because that's the kind of thing that these kind of games have. We'll try this one out and see how it goes. It came out back on December 1st and has been uh, like a, a very positive reviews from from Steam. The uh, developers sent me a key to try this one out, so we're going to go ahead and do it here and see what we can do. Our difficulty level here, we're going to go with uh, normal is fine. Now my cat is going to, well, my cat that I have, my real life cat, is Tigress, so I suppose we should go ahead and be Tigress. Is that a capital S? No? Just a funny looking S. I should have a capital T though. No, that's, I can't do capital T's. Okay, that works. <laughs> uh, my color. Well, she's a calico. I don't think I can do calico. But um, orange will work, and I'm going to have mm, pink eyes. We'll do some uh, red eyes. Yes. Okay, so we get a bit of story here. Grab the Kleenexes, because it's going to be kind of rough. There we are. There we are, a happy cat in, in buy a cat land, buy a cat mart. I'll be quiet. I'll let it play. And on the day after Christmas and everything, those of you not watching this as it comes out, this is being recorded the day after Christmas, so things are, it's rough. <laughs> hey, what are you doing out here? Hmm? You don't like it from around here, says Coco. I'm Coco, by the way. Why don't you come over here and tell me your name? All right. Let's walk over here and have a chat with, with uh, Coco. Hey, Coco. Hmm, you say your name is Tigress. That's a good name for you, if you don't mind me saying. So you're left here all by yourself? Yes, the terrible woman dropped me off by the side of the road. Oh, terrible. Well, that's your story. we got a lot of learning ahead of you. You'll have to find a uh, defend for yourself out here in the wild. If you don't know how to forage, hunt, and fight, you can't expect to live more than a few days. You better listen closely to everything I say. I'll show you how to survive around these parts. First things first, you'll need to know how to forage. There should be some golden seal around here. It's a green leafy plant with bright red berry. We use it to patch up our wounds. Why don't you find some golden seal and bring it to me? Shouldn't be too hard to locate. Let me know if you need some help. Go and gather. Okay, so we're going to walk around here and E on some golden seal. Which is not that. Okay. That one. There we go. There's some golden seal. Excellent. Here you go, Coco. You found some golden seal. Why don't you try giving it to me? You have to dig it up from your inventory and hold it in your mouth first. Okay. Hold it in my mouth. Am I holding it? Okay. Oh, yeah, I am holding it. Okay, I see. <laughs> Good work. You'll be foraging like a pro soon enough. Go ahead and keep that golden seal, by the way. Never know when it may come in handy. I'll leave it in your inventory. There's lots of plants that grow around here. Golden seal, lavender, catnip, marigold, name a few. They will all have their unique uses, so make sure you gather some up and try them out if you see them. Just remember, 
all plants need time to grow back after a while. Uh, and some plants will grow in certain areas, in certain seasons. You're also going to need to know how to find food for yourself. You'll need to eat regularly to stay healthy and alive. You can eat some plants like berries and licorice root. But they don't fill you up very fast. You mainly want to eat prey that you catch with your own four paws. That's the good stuff. I don't suppose you know how to hunt, do you? I'll show you the way. Why don't you sneak around and find that mouse? They uh, make for tasty snacks. Sneak around so they won't hear you coming. Then find a mouse and get close so you can focus on it. You want to get as close as possible without scaring them off. The closer you get, the better chance you have at catching the mouse. Don't worry. Mice aren't very good at spotting us cats. So you can get pretty close. Then pounce on the mouse once you're focused and ready. If you did it just right, you'll have a nice meal waiting for you in the grass. Don't worry if you miss on your first few tries. Hunting is tricky and you won't always catch your prey. Just keep moving and try again. Got all that? Yeah, I got it. I'm good. Okay, hold shift to locate a mouse. Ooh, there's one. Oh, but I'm running around like a mad cat, so, uh... I'm assuming maybe, like, in the grass. That would make sense. If I was a mouse, that's where I would be. Coco, there's no mice around here. Coco. No mice. There's one. Wait for the bubble to fill up. Pounce with space. Ow. Okay. <laughs> okay. More mice. There's one. Bubble fills up. And... Pounce. Oh, come on. Get over here, mice. All right, let's go get this guy. Got him. Yes. All right. Here you go. Nice done, you're a natural hunter, Tigress. But you'll need a lot more than just one measly mouse. To keep yourself well fed in this in, in top shape. Don't let it go to your head. You can find all sorts of prey to hunt throughout the wilderness. Most will see you coming from a lot further away than a mouse will, so you'll have to stay alert and keep learning. You can always get better at hunting by spending experience on your passive hunting skill in your skills panel. All this hard work is probably making you hungry. Why don't you try eating the mouse you just caught? You need to eat in order to survive. In cattails, you'll see how hungry your cat is in the bottom left corner of the screen. If your hunger is reduced to 0%, you'll start taking damage from starvation. Looks like you're a little hungry right now, so go ahead and eat the mouse you just caught by opening your inventory. Select the mouse, and then select Eat from the list of options. Hmm. You should keep an eye on how hungry you are, Tigress. This could be the difference between life and death. Now then, any special skills, any sort of training that cats... Uh, the cats of your upbringing go through? No? Well, no, no. Well, that's not surprising. I'm about to teach you a Coco specialty skill called Sprint. You can use it to gain a quick burst of speed. You use Sprint to cover ground quickly and run away from a fight. That's too big for you. Or catch up with prey that's escaping. Okay. I learned Sprint. Try it now. Okay. There we go. Look at me. I'm a fast cat. Yep. That's how you do it. Uh, after you use it, you'll have to wait a few seconds. Alright. Um, yep. Lots of skills available. Okay, thanks. Passive skills, yes. Skills panel, yes. Spend experience to upgrade skills. Cats that live here don't like intruders very much. Any cat found trespassing in another cat's territory will be attacked on sight. It's our way of life. That's why you need to know how to fight. Most cats join a colony that provides guards and a base of operations for protection. Often, those colonies clash. Border skirmishes or even all-out wars are not uncommon. I need to know what I'm working with here. How about the two of us spar real quick? Fair warning, I won't go easy on you just because you're new. Come over here and let me know when you're ready. I'm ready. Ready to spar with me? Yes. Alright, a few pointers before we begin. Cats fight by pawing each other with their claws. Take some time to complete an attack, and during that time you won't be able to react to my attacks, so time your attacks just right. Make use of your ability to escape my attacks, anticipate my swipes. Gotcha. Be vulnerable while you're uh, attacking. Uh, while I'm attacking because I won't be able to turn. Gotcha. Three, two, one. Go. Come here. Oh, ho. oh. Um, I'm just gonna stand here and swing. Take that. I can't get up on you and then... Oh, ho, gotcha. Put up a good fight. Yeah, I beat you. I got a lot of... No, no, I'm... Oh, no. You can always become better at fighting by spending experience on your passive fighting skill. Fighting can be an excellent way to flex your political muscle, too. Every few days, uh, uh, every day, a few battles will begin along the borders of the colonies. If you participate, you can help a colony gain influence, influence over an area. 
Okay, so speaking of colonies, we want to join one. Yes, great way to start started in the wild. I know of the three major colonies here. I have Sparadin to give to you if you'd like it. Actually, not far from the forest colony right now. I can lead you there and help you get settled in. I'm sure the leader mayor wouldn't mind having a new face around town. They're good cats in the forest colony. You'll fit right in. How does that sound? Uh, what else we got? Three major colonies. There's the forest colony. Good, friendly cats that live in a bramble patch deep in the oak woods just to the north. Definitely the closest colony to here. Mayor would be happy to have me. There's also the Mountain Domain, a proud collection of cats dwelling near a waterfall on a rocky basin. They're way up north. They're led by a fighter named Leo. Cat is always looking for more paws to bolster the number of border skirmishers in the domain. And lastly, there's the Mystic Colony, strange cats that live in hollow logs deep within an old wetland. You may find their leader a bit hard to connect with at first, but Alyssa's a good cat at heart. They're all, even the wacky ones. So what do you think? Well, I mean, we gotta go with the Mountain Domain. We're a dwarf cat. Great, I'll lead you to the Mountain Domain then. Follow me, Tigress. Okay, here we are. Come here. Yes, here we are. Here's your new den, Tigress. If you want to visit your den often, here you can sleep and save your progress. You can also use the space to store your items if you like. So here's my house. Uh, using my bed will get me saved. Okay, this is where we part ways. Farewell. I want to get some sleep. Okay. Sounds good to me. What's happening to you? You're not a normal cat, are you? Well, we can go sleep right there if we want to. I guess I'll go ahead and do that. Yeah, we'll sleep. I was told by the cat to, to go to sleep, so we'll do that. Okay. 8 a.m. Five experience points for waking up. Now I have my stuff. You can see uh, we got a map over here. And I am the purple folk. We have, I guess this is the forest folk over here. This is the mystic folk down here. And I, I clearly haven't played this much, but I watched a little bit of a video, so I kind of know what's going on here. The exclamation points are going to be things like uh, there's battles raging there at the moment. And this is how we kind of expand our influence over time. Um, I don't know anything else about really what's out here, though. Just lots of exploration time of uh, places. So um, these are my skills. Hunting, fighting, swimming, foraging. Excellent. Active skills, okay. And my menu. Okay, so let's go and uh, say hello to the people, the cats around here. Uh, good day, Leo. Coco told me to be expecting someone new. I'm Leo, I'm the leader of the Mountain Domain. I'm here to greet you on behalf of our community. Hope you find your den comfortable enough. I know that cave can be a bit drafty at times. It's uh, your duty to make sure you introduce yourself to everyone around town once you're all settled in. You should definitely say hello to Delta, our shopkeeper. Also, introduce yourself to Luna, our healer. You can find me at the top of the rocky stairs on the west side of town, though. I'm usually busy with meetings and battle preparations. Mm -hmm. oh, we're preparing for the summer festival. Hope you'll be able to join us for the festivities. Cats of every colony come together to the sacred temple at the end of each season for the festivals. They're usually fun games and prizes you can win. Summer festival takes place on the 10th of summer. I'll leave. Okay. Thanks, buddy. Okay, so let's go wander around here, I guess. Uh, there's Luna. So she's the doctor cat. I stop by. I guess this is a friendship meter here. I'm a Luna. I run the clinic. Who are you? Okay. Uh, thanks, Luna. Anything else? Um, I don't need healing. Let's just talk. Yeah, I sure do. That's your way of saying get out of here, I guess. Oh, there's a sword on the ground. There's... Hmm? Arthur's Den. Is that a sword laying on the floor? Can I have it? No, I can't. There's rats on the... Or something else? Let's go talk to Arthur. Arthur! Hearken to my words, traveler. You're not from this realm, are you? Thy coming is most peculiar. Thou speakest to Arthur, noble knight of the mountain domain. I mark how thy spirit swells with pride to my mention of our proud kingdom. It is a happy fate that we should meet on this day. I shall remember thee, noble one. All right. Can I go in your house? No. Arthur has swords laying on the floor there. Here's Robin. Hello. I don't believe we met before. My name's Robin. You ever need someone to talk to? I'm calling. Uh, I'm always willing to listen. Welcome. Yeah, I'll talk. Big plans for the summer? Keep your schedule balanced. Too much of any one thing can be bad in the long run. Well, thanks. Delta is. What was Delta? Yeah. Delta's got a crazy face. I don't believe I know you. No, you don't. I'm Delta. I'm the shopkeeper around here. Right, right. That's what you are. Yeah, I like to shop. 
Uh, let's shop. Awesome. I would like to buy items. What do you have? You have mice for 14 mews. How many mews? I have zero mews. Crows, black. It is a rabbit that uh, the night cat has on there. Trout, marigolds, colors, inventory expansion. White sands, fur, color for your... Oh, we can color our... Oh, there we go. Tortoise, that's what we need. Yes. How much is that? 225 mews. Fancy silver bell to accessorize uh, for my cat to wear. Collars. Sure coat. Medieval green shirt sure coat for your cat to wear. Yes. I want that too. Okay. We'll say hello to Pebble, then we'll go check out the battle room. Battle land. Oh, it's just you. We've bumped into you before. Uh, yeah, I'm new around here. I'm Pebble. What did you say your name was? Tigress? Well, Tigress, I can already tell that you're going... We're going to get along. Don't be a stranger. Okay. So let's stroll over here. Uh, so here, this is like the battle, right? This is the battle. Okay. Let me in. <laughs> uh, it's wait. Where's my people? Why is it all other people? <laughs> I think we lost. Get out. What? Um, where's my, my map? Map. Yeah, that's our domain, but it's mountain eighty-five, forest fifteen. Not what I saw. Let's go down a little bit further and go to the next one. So in the game, there you can like explore caves and what is this? I can't dig that up. Oh, we so we'll go meet Jag real quick. Um, there we go. Oh, what's the big? Guy? Yeah, who are you? Anyway, don't look familiar. Yeah, I'm not. It's my job to keep cats who don't belong here away from our homes. I'm the town guard for the mountain domain. Say your name is Tigers. Hmm. I, think I heard someone mention you were arriving soon. All right, you're off the hook for now. But don't go causing trouble, or I'll be one cleaning up your mess. All right. Well, whatever. So down here, and then, yeah, then we're going to go over to the one where we're actually winning. I know also down here there is a, my reputation with different folks also. So I guess maybe we can get reputation with other people too? Where's my date? It is the second of summer. Okay, so we need to help. We need to win. Keep an eye on my health bar. It is getting destroyed. Why are we losing so bad? I'm not much of a fighter. The battle is won. Oh, we won. Oh, okay. Oh, shoot. Seems I am uh, I can only catch bugs. Bugs. I'm not good enough to pouncing on prey. You just want to fight there. Oh, there's coins on the ground. Plark? You here for backup? Yeah. They say we were enemies spotted not long ago. On this very spot. Yeah, we won. What's that noise? Picked up a Valerian. I can heal myself, I suppose, with that, that herb I picked up. Uh, yeah. You guys all say the same thing. There's some cattails over here. Can I... Oh, maybe we shouldn't do that. <laughs> um... I guess we can, we can sneak and maybe find something. A butterfly. Can I catch a butterfly? Oh, I did. Azure butterfly. There's a frog there. Pick that up. Go get that frog. Where'd he go? Oh, he can see me. Guess I'm not very good at sneaking yet. Okay, so, um... We're over here. We, we won this fight. We need to win this fight still. I'm gonna go and get... I'm gonna eat this stuff. What did I pick up here? Valerian energizes and invigorates cats. Butterfly with gorgeous cerulean wings. And some more golden seal. There we go. That'll help me out a bit. I'm a little bit hungry, so we can probably catch a mouse. Let's go see if we can win this fight. North Plains? Are we the blue? Ah! Yeah. This isn't going well. We gotta win a fight. I have 15 coins. I can buy things now, though. Um, take that. I can't win this fight. There's too many of them. I think I can sneak in there. You can't see me, I'm sneaky. You can't see me, I'm sneaky. There's too many of them. <laughs> okay, we're not going to go there. It's a bad place. Let's go see if we can find some exploring. There is, uh, I noticed there's some, like, Canyon Creek, Tomb Creek. Let's go wander over there and see what we can find. Before we do much of anything else. Can I pick this up? No. 
episode. Oh, there's a mouse right there. Oh, there we go. There's a bridge. Okay, we'll go across here. The butterfly. Is this the rest of my uh, my homeland? I think it is. I'm curious. I'm guessing there's more stores and things we can we can go wander into. Dig for deep breaches in, in dangerous caves is one of the things mentioned here on the, the list of things that we can do. I'd also like to pick up like a weapon. Where are we? We're on the far edge of our domain. So let's leave our domain here and see where we can get to. We really gotta eat something though. See what we can find in the next next spot. Hmm? Rats? Anywhere? Rats? Getting kind of hungry. I want a butterfly. It's 4 p.m. at the moment. Licorice root. What does that do for me? That is a natural sweet plant. Natural sweet plant that makes for a good light snack. Okay, I'll eat it. Ooh. Got him. What is it? A dove. Traditionally used to promote peace. This was one was <laughs> unsuccessful. Yeah, I'm gonna eat it. Mmm. There we go. Okay. I wanna go check out... Whoa, who are you? Oh, yeah, you wanna go, Fudge? Oh, Fudge has more friends. I made a sprint away from these guys. Do they follow me if I go in the next round? They don't. Okay, so I am kind of in the middle here, and this is sort of owned by both folks, I guess. I guess what we should be doing is trying to help out the fight here, but that's... A failed fight. On the map. Um, we're on the spot with a, a quarry. Prairie quarry. Oh, here we go. Let's see what's over here. There's a mouse. I could eat that mouse. I'm gonna. Oh, dang it, mouse! Oh, that was easy. Well, that was not easy. What? Get back here. <laughs> there we go. We got him. We got him. Okay. Well done, us. Let's eat that. Marigold is good for treating wounds over time. Yeah, let's use that. And then we're going to go inside here and see what we can find in the cave. Can't pick up the mushrooms. We're just looking at them. This game can we play with controller? I'm using a mouse and key, uh, the mouse and keyboard at the moment. What is this? It's a mole. What do you want? Mole the mole. Molu the mole. Wait a minute. You're not a mole. You're a cat. Sorry to burst out like you like that. It's just you woke me up from my nap. And I got real cranky when folks wake me up. Anyhow, you look pretty confused. Let's get the introductions out of the way. I'm Molu. I run the Prairie Quarry. Lots of laborers down in the mines below digging for gems and other pretty looking rocks. We're also always looking for help if you got some time. Maybe you'd like to get your paws dirty, too. If you can bring back some gems, I'll make you sure you're rewarded. Probably have to dig deep before you can find the good stuff, though. You can mine by sweeping with your claws at the dig rocks. I pay mole cash in exchange for gems. You can trade in your mole cash at my shop for some of the stuff I've collected. Your mews are no good to me. But some of my laborers may be interested in them. Okay, go there, start mining. Make sure we want to pack a lunch to take with you before you go in, since you'll be hungry fast mining those big rocks. Might be some bats on the lower levels, too. Hopefully they'll bother you, but you never know. Let me know if you want any questions. If you have any questions, remember I pay mole cash for your gems. Okay. Is that one of the rocks? Let's go inside. We're going to be hungry. We're not going to go here too long. Prairie mine level one. Oh, I see. These are the rocks. Oh, uh, okay. What is this? What did I just pick up? Rock debris. No. Trace amounts of ore. 
more rock debris. So is there another level down here? Can I see the map here? No. Is it like a Stardew Valley, you think, where I have to just sort of find the next level down? It's, I have a feeling it's going to be. Break those. And that one. There we go. There it is. Yeah, go down. Okay, level two. What is this thing? Something I can't break. More debris. So this is my, um, whatever it's called. Mole money. Pick up some of those. Rock debris. I don't want rock debris. Can I maybe sell that to that guy? There we go. Yeah, come on now. Keep on going. Oops. Okay, level three. Anything else down here that wants to attack me? Or is it all going to be the same every level? Well, let's break some rocks. There we go. Okay. Break that. Very good. Um, okay, so what we're going to do, I think I want to, I just want to make sure we check out everything in our town before we call this episode a day. So I'm going to run back up to the top. We'll see if we can sell my junk here to this guy. Hey, buddy. No gems. No. Hey, yeah, what do you have here? Trade all debris, gore, and gems for 13 more cash. Yeah, I'll do that. Now I want to buy something. What do you have? You have... Oh, there you go. You have, you have rats. Or, uh, bunnies. 400 for that one. You're very expensive. A pet bat. An eerie little bat that will follow you around. Show slash hide your pet. Okay. A sweater. A scarf. Okay. Let's run back home. Let's go eat this mouse. There we go. Let's get out of here. I can't mine these, no. So, we're going to run back. Anything else of notice here? Let's just go back here to our main town, and we'll check out and see what else is around there. If everyone's just in their house. Maybe since time has passed, they'll be, like, in their houses. We can actually go in their dens and see some things, I'm hoping. From what I understood on... Ah! Fudge again. That guy's followed me around everywhere. Right, I understood from what I was reading and, and sort of seeing some of the uh, the reviews and all that, there, there's apparently a lot of, of... There's some depth to the game. And I'm curious what else there is other than what we have here. I mean, of course, we can get married and we can... It seems like it's it's very Stardew Valley-esque where you can start setting up uh, your house and, um, you know, family raising and all that. We want to go this way. Run back up to our house here. See what we can find. Well, this way. The Lone Sentinel. Is that where we're at? Maybe we're only in that dark blue area because I don't see anybody around here. Bugs are out now. Music has stopped. They got quiet. There we go. There's our home. Oh, hey, Jag. That's a big idea. Hot up today, but I can't leave in post. Swore an oath to protect this domain, and I mean to do it. Okay. So, are you home now? This is this is my den. No, it's Luna's den. Yeah, I want to go in there. Bright blue gems line the floor, making a path towards the center of the den. Yeah, go in. I can't, but I want to go in. Hmm. What about... Uh, what about... Oh, there goes Arthur. This is Jag. Made of sharp, pointy rocks. It doesn't look very inviting. I think this is uh, hints at as to what the other cats want. So if I take something, like Jag... Um, Jag, wait. If I give you something, can I put this butterfly in my mouth? 
I can put this in my mouth. And go give it. Nope. Go give it to you. Well, maybe not. Nobody else out here? Pebbles Den. Very dusty. Filled with oddly shaped gray and black rocks. Hmm, Alright. And... As Leo. But I can't go in. Alright. Well, there we go. There's cattails. I'm going to go to sleep, and we'll see what happens in the morning. If whenever we get up, things are, uh, are different. This is available on Steam. It's been there for uh, about three weeks now. That's not my house. Sorry, Luna. Let's go this way. Okay, back to sleep. I like to sleep. Okay, we'll wake up in the morning. We'll see what's going on. I got 15 coins that I can spend. It's 11 a.m. now. I guess I slept in later than before. I'm starving. Hey, Luna's there. Luna, can you patch me up? Creature for eight Mews. Yeah. Okay, all better. I should be good to go. So you like blue gems. I don't have any blue gems. However, I have a butterfly. I have, um, this. Would you like this? Give the Valerian. Oh, cool. I do kind of like those. Well, there we go. I'm glad you liked it. Alright, there we go. That is Cattails. Thanks again for watching. I will see you next time.